all right guys just a quick update video passing through to all those guys who want to upgrade their iMacs a while back I made the videos where I upgraded GPU CPU they got quite a lot of views and so I decided to create this video where I explain you all sorts of stuff what CPU you can put in and so as such but the problem is that is already some time ago as you can see I created this post on September 8th 2019 so it's over a year ago and many things have changed since then so I have continuously updated this guide to uh, keep it updated put in more information that I got that I found out that people have told me for example the CPUs here those have more or less remained the same since the start but you can for example put in a I, uh, i7 860s or 870s into a 21 and a half inch model even though apple didn't offer that but they will work just fine and so you can just read through all of this if you want to be a little more adventurous you can also choose from a lot of different uh, Xeon chips in, in 2011 imax um, but I, I wouldn't really recommend that if it would ask if you would ask me personally I just say stick to the ones that are tried and true tested because tearing this iMac down putting the CPU in putting it back together just to find out that it doesn't work or has issues it's just it, it's just not worth it. it would be really annoying so just stick to those processors and those now what really uh, what really changed throughout this year was the GPU upgrades. Now I was really one of the first on YouTube to really make a video where I upgrade this GPU and I went in blind. I just saw yeah 765M that's gonna work so I'll put it in and see what happens. And that's what I basically did. Now remember when I created this video which is this very video here um, there was no V bias available nothing. It was just the ability to put it in and live without the boot screen, without the boot switcher and all that, which is really frustrating, annoying. But I got it, I got it, you know, dialed in, and uh, I, I used it this 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 way pretty long until some guy from I think Mac Rumors uh, reached out to me and said, "Hey, uh, there is a V bias available." And at the time, uh, it was it wasn't as great as it is now. So then I created this post, um, which will explain you to how to get the boot screen back, how to get the boot switcher back, and in some cases even the brightness control. And that, of course, means you have to flash the video card, and that got really really easy. Now at first um, I want to link you to this almighty Mac Rumors post where you can find everything related to this topic. As you can see I created here this red um, paragraph with a link and that links you to this, um, where is it, uh, start here, this iMac upgrade uh, post here on Mac Rumors, this forum. And as you can see they really really updated this and made it really great when i started doing this upgrading stuff this was a mess you had like so many people were working on all this great stuff but you just could not know as a noob and and just newbie like i was back then what the hell is even going on but since then they have really made it nice sorted through it explain you what you have to do what happens when you put in a graphics card what graphics cards you can use that's also a very very common question I get that every other day and here I I just can't recommend you enough this table will explain you everything um, so for example like the, the one I would recommend you right now is like a 780m yes it's a little on the pricier side but it's a pretty good card but why why this exactly well you have a boot screen you have a brightness control uh, available and that is not the case on most cards. Uh, on, on lots of cards you can get a boot screen, but you have no brightness control, like on mine here. This is here, for example, the one I have, 765M, which uh, um, doesn't have a brightness control available. And you can also, if you're a little more advanced, you can also go with a Quadro here, 
but there you're gonna need open core to get uh, for example brightness control working on, on and all of this and i know from experience that this is cool to you know guys like us which uh, like to tinker around who just you know like doing this like sitting here and finding stuff out but most people it's just alien to most people so i would recommend you just for the run of the mill dude who wants to upgrade his imac one of those with a double plus there you can have boot screen brightness control and just everything make it make it basically a full featured mac without any drawbacks now of course that involves having to flash it and i flashed it the following way and i wrote my way here uh, the way i did it down here i used windows but a common misconception that i found out is that uh, windows is required no uh, you can also use linux which uh, is even easier um, because you don't have to mess around with Windows and their drivers and maybe getting it up and running. You can just boot up a Linux, do the flashing, and you're done. But I did it with Windows, and I used the NV Flash utility, and of course I made the video where I do that. So if you want to see that, go watch that video where I did it. But more importantly, and that's the, <laughs> the way I actually recommend it, if you're good with a little bit of Linux, you can just use this method. And what this does is you boot up a external drive, um, a USB drive with this Linux on it made by Xenderon. He made a um, basically a image which has the um, operating system and the NV flash utility on it. And what you do then is you just boot it up. You find the IP as you can see uh, from a different computer you log into via SSH and uh, then you do the flashing this way. So there it doesn't matter if your graphics card doesn't show a signal or nothing because you're just gonna need the IP and have it in your local network. So if you've ever used or set up a Raspberry Pi, you can do this and it's really, really easy and I would recommend you this method actually. Um, and uh, Curtis Gross made an excellent video, how to do it and just uh, I will of course link it down in the description below but also you can find it here it's a really helpful video and uh, it's a great way to flash your v-bias now if you're using windows again um, make sure you you activate remote desktop before you do the upgrade why that because um, when you boot up a graphics card, for example, a 765M or 770M or something without the flashed V bias, uh, the chance is there that uh, the screen is just gonna stay black. Um, I was a for I was fortunate enough that it booted up in my case, but I've had uh, I've read and had people tell me that the screen just stays black. So to fight this problem, when you boot into Windows and screen stays black, is you just have to set up the remote desktop. And uh, so you can then do basically the same thing as on Linux. You log in from a different computer. You, you just do it via remote desktop. You do the flashing then via remote desktop. And when everything goes according to plan, you can just boot it up and it will have the boot screen and show a signal. So that is another recommendation. Do that regardless, even though if you're so confident enough that it's gonna boot up with a like new graphics card with upgraded GPU just do that it's like a couple of clicks and it will save you uh, lots of headaches um, if you want to flash on Windows and Windows works pretty good too so if you have like a Windows bootcamp partition just use that uh, there's no reason not to use it but make sure you set up that and then upgrade the GPU everyone else who just wants to use Mac OS you can of course use the Linux method. Now, next thing is, um, how do I run Mojave and Catalina? Mojave and Catalina are not officially supported by Apple because they're dickheads and they like to unsupport stuff. And you know, that's why we do all of this basically because they are just uh, sometimes, uh, yeah. Um, and so you have to, of course, run a patcher. The awesome patcher made by DOSDude1 you can find it right there. Now, the thing is, 
the original GPUs, 5000, 6000 series of these iMacs, they do not support metal and therefore you will have no graphics card acceleration, no graphics acceleration. And in order to combat this, you have to upgrade your GPU. So if you want to run Mojave and Catalina with a stock GPU, you can't, basically. It's not usable. So that's why you upgrade, right? That's why, why I did it. Um, and so there, you just have to uncheck one little thing and then it should work. You have to uncheck legacy video card patch. That's uh, the, the most important step, because if you don't do that, you just install the stock like text for the five and six thousand series and so since you have a supported a metal supported gpu then you can of course run this uh, os fine so make sure you uncheck that and that's it that's all you have to do now i know that the, the catalina patcher is a little buggy um, i'm not up to date on how like how well they got it dialed in now but I personally run Mojave on my 2010 iMac. It runs flawlessly. I have absolutely no issues. But I had issues with Catalina. Uh, Wi-Fi and sound weren't working. And people are, I know, working on this issue. So I, again, I don't know how far they've come, if they've fixed that. But uh, if you want a more like rock solid-ish system, go with Mojave. And if you're a little bit more adventurous, like it, to tinker a little bit, you go with Catalina. And I'm sure... The awesome guys who develop all of this, they will fix that for Catalina one day. Uh, and uh, so, yeah, it's just uh, basically you just, just have to wait a bit. I think they, get, they will get it figured out. Um, yeah, next thing is um, where, where do I get GPUs? That's also a very common question. Uh, where do I get, like, for example, any of these GPUs? My recommendation is eBay. I bought mine on eBay, I buy lots of stuff on eBay, uh, and you can just find, you can find lots of cars, but you can also find um, resellers that aren't, you know, kind of shady. Uh, now, the prices, of course, are going to be more expensive than on the second uh, website, I will tell you. But it's, I don't really recommend you this website, but of course, if you feel like it, you can also buy their AliExpress. Uh, I have here, for example, an 880M for 167 euros, guys. You know, that's really, really cheap. When you compare it here, I have here a 780M from China as well, but from eBay, 188. So a 780M is even more expensive than an 880M from AliExpress. Now, the chance that you're going to run into problems with, you know, uh, no, not, not warranty, but like refund, refunding in case something works, doesn't work, or troubleshooting, AliExpress is a nightmare. I know that myself. But if something doesn't work right here, uh, you just look through, you email the, the reseller, and if he takes it back, it's usually a pretty simple process. So I know that there are cards that, that, that don't work. Um, it just happens, you know, it's technology, so the chance is there. But just make sure you, you get it from like a better rated seller or something then then it's fine so i'd say ebay or if you feel like it you can also go on like craigslist uh, we don't have craigslist in europe it's and we have it but it's just not popular at all nobody uses it but uh, in i know in america craigslist craigslist is pretty out there you can also find him there i'm sure but again it's it's the next thing uh if something doesn't work you're you're out of luck so if you're if you want to be on a safe side spend a little more on ebay Find it there. So that is uh, everything. I think I didn't forget anything that I wanted to show you. Um, I also wrote in here a disclaimer because I got this one comment that somebody said, uh, you are just using other people's achievements to, and you know, you make yourself look good and stuff. And I got really pissed off because that's just not what I intended, not at all. You know, I'm not getting any money for this. I'm doing this all in my free time. And I linked this this guide here, this Mac Rumors post, uh, basically three times in my post. So you know, and uh, I think it's in their best interest, in the in, in Nick's best interest, who develops the V biases and all the great people there, that this gets spread around, that more people know that this is possible, that it can do it. So I think they will just they will be fine. Oh, they will be cool. 
that I write this in there. And you know, it, it's it never said that I did any of this, basically. This is just my little guide, an easy to follow guide that should be a guide for absolute beginners who just want to upgrade and you know, look what's up and stuff. But if you want to dive deeper in there and look up issues, you will find it most likely in this post. So yeah, that's basically the holy grail of this whole project, upgrading GPUs, is this post. You can find everything that's known and, and, and issues and stuff in this post. I can't say that enough. If you have problems, uh, just go here. You will find your, your answer. So yeah, um, here are your ROMs and more information uh, about the GPUs. There's just why I, I don't I don't see why I should copy this over to my side because it's just so nicely done there's no reason so I just wrote some recommendations there uh, and uh, yeah so guys uh, if you have any more questions just uh, keep asking them I know I get lots of questions uh, on this topic I have actually right now here uh, a little uh, forum myself uh, 163 <laughs> questions already which is insane i try to answer most of them um but just please also read through here um, many people have asked stuff uh that uh, has already been answered but still i mean i'm i'm not mad if you ask that twice because it's a lot to read through anyway uh i appreciate it that this has gotten so great reception that people really um look at this and find it useful and so yeah that's why i do it so um again thank you for watching if you have any more questions, please write them below.